All right, this is Cheat Sheet Overload back with my second tech video. It's been a while since I posted. Sorry about that. Um, but this is a request from someone on Discord to do a tutorial on how to mine Dogecoin with your CPU, which is really not profitable. But if you want to do it, I'll show you. So first, you're going to have to download. I I'm going to assume that you already know how most cryptocurrencies work. So if you don't, I'll attach a video in the description so you can go watch it and understand what I'm all talking about. But first, you're going to have to download a wallet, which is where you keep your coins that you mine. Maybe. So go ahead and navigate to dogecoin.com and click on your operating system. And make sure you download the full wallet and make sure you know which stru structure it is. Um, you got to download the full wallet. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'm going to leave it at that. All right, next, go to your files and hit this PC. Click on your local disk. Um, hit users. Whichever user you are, click on that. And then click on app data, roaming, and there should be a folder for Dogecoin. And there it is, and this is your Dogecoin folder. Now, there should be a dogecoin.conf file. If there isn't, um, it's okay, go ahead, just make a new file, name it dogecoin.conf, and edit it with any code editor. I'm using Notepad. So, here, you gotta type these in. I already have it in because I already created it. Um, I'll paste the copy and paste in the description below. But basically, for the user, just type in whatever you want. Always just remember it. Same with the password, whatever you want. Um, just remember what it is. For the IP address, do 127.0.0.1. And for the port, do anything that you can easily remember and is not taken up by another application. So in this case, 9999, port 9999 is not taken, so I just set it as that. Uh, set serve as one, listen as one, and daemon as one. And I'm going to X that out. Uh, go ahead and pause the video if you want to set all that up by yourself. Alright, now you should have a Dogecoin full wallet. Go ahead and click on it and let it open. So I'm going to wait for that to set up and load. All right, so my thing just loaded up. Now it's gonna say, for yours it should say if like something like a few years behind or something, and that's because it has to scan through the whole blockchain because this is a full wallet. Um, mine is only a day or two behind, but you're gonna have to leave your computer on overnight and let it sync with the whole blockchain before you can start mining. Now, uh, my suggestion for that is you just go to the control panel. All right, um, and then here type power and change power saving settings. Now, create a new power plan. Um, do a power saver. I don't know. I'm gonna do. All right, so this is Dogecoin mining. I'm gonna click next. Uh, turn on this display as soon as you can. This way you can save power, but don't put it to sleep, or else it's not gonna sync the wallet. And hit create, and make sure you click on it. And then you just have to leave your computer on overnight, maybe even longer than that. Mine took 24 hours to sync completely when I first downloaded it. It actually depends on you know how large the blockchain is by the time you're watching this video or how powerful your computer is. So once that thing is synced, um, I'll tell you how to download the miner. Okay, so now you're going to have to go download the miner. I already have one downloaded, but I'm going to download it again. Just go up and type polar CPU miner or something. Alright, uh, you could use GitHub, but I generally use SourceForge to download it. Now, if you download it, it's going to say it's a virus, but it's actually not a virus. I don't know why it's a virus. If you know, go ahead and tell me in the comments below. I would really like to understand what this all is. I think um, it's what some people use to hide viruses inside miners. But, you know, it's okay. Just download it. Calm down. It's not a virus. Your computer will not break. Alright. Keep downloading. 
it's fine if it's gonna say it's malware it's not uh save as you know what i'm gonna click my desktop save all right now your antivirus by now is probably acting up but try to find out i don't know which antivirus you use but if you have one um go on it i don't know i don't know what it actually is but click some there should be something some button that says restore or exclude from future scans or you know ignore but basically just click on the one that means leave this file alone all right um i don't know why it didn't show up on my desktop let me see my huh. oh there it is so you're gonna extract the file uh, extract. Oh, whoops, I'm gonna rename mine. Um, because I already have mine. But you extract it. Alright, now you have this, and if your antivirus acts up again, just, you know, Comment down, tell it to, don't delete your antivirus, it's really important, but just get it to ignore these files. Um, okay, now I'm going to assume that your wallet is already fully synced, which mine is, which, so I'm going to open that up. Uh, now you're going to, now I'm going to tell you how to set up the miner. Alright, I just open up my wallet, uh, I already have some Dogecoins in here because someone tipped me, uh, I think it was someone from Discord, whoever you are, thank you. Uh, so now in here, I make a new uh, file and just, I don't know, type it like, uh, dot .bat. Now, I don't know how it works on your um, operating system, but make it the file that operates your command terminal. And yes. Now, I'm going to edit that. I already have this copy and copied and pasted, uh, copied in my clipboard, so I'm gonna paste it in the description for you to copy and paste. All right, but here, uh, just type in your port. In my case, it's nine 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 nine, and in the Coinbase address, go to much receive or something like that, and I don't know, label it something weird. Uh, don't leave that blank, and it says. All right, now just hit request payment and make sure you copy the address and go back to the home screen. Wait, and then go back to your, your thing here and paste that address in and do dash u uh, after that. I don't know, whatever your username was. In my case, it was CSA. And for the password, whatever your password was in the config file, All right, now it's ready to go. Just go ahead and save. And go ahead and run it. And you see it should start mining. Um, now, because I already have some tasks and other stuff running on my computer, it will have less kill hashes per second, but uh, depending on your computer, it could manage anything between like two kill, kill hashes per second to maybe five or six kill hashes per second. Now, even with this, it's going to take about 400 days to mine a full block, maybe 500. But if you really want it to and try, just go ahead and leave your computer on overnight, night after night after night. I promise you, you're probably not going to mine anything, but if you're really lucky, you might. And yeah, there we go. CPU miner.